Sunny Phoenix High School, we welcome you back to your fourth episode of PHTV. I'm Audrey Hazel. And I'm Tanali Rojas. We have a quite a few announcements today, so let's jump on it. NFFA news, mark your calen calendars for October 7th. The FFA is hosting a spaghetti feed and dessert auction for to help fundraise their trip to compete at nationals in Louisville, Kentucky. It will be $10 at the door and $8 in advance. Members of FFA, solo judging is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after school. There's a vet Medicaid meeting at lunch Wednesday, October 1st, and on Thursday, October 2nd. There are ag sales at lunch. If you are FFA and have not paid your dues, please do so. On October 10th, all juniors and seniors are invited to a guided tour of OIT's campus. There is no cost to go, and lunch will be provided by OIT. The bus will leave at 8 a.m. and will return around 3. Turn in a parent authorization form into the college corner by October 3rd, this Friday, to reserve your spot. Also, there is a college fair at SOU on October 14th from 9.30 to 12 for all juniors and seniors, but you must sign up at the college corner in order to attend. Do you have a brain? Do you enjoy competition? I'm looking forward to a new club to join. The PHS Brain Bowl team will be beginning meeting Wednesdays, October 8th. Meetings will continue throughout the year on Wednesdays at lunch in Mr. Thien's room. All are welcome and bring your lunch. Do you have a horse? Do you compete? Do you have your own trainer? If so, we have a segment for anyone interested in starting an equestrian club. Let's roll it. Have a horse? Do you compete? Do you have your own trainer? Are you interested in participating in competitive high school equestrian program? A program that offers a full range of performance classes, both English and Western, gaming events, cattle events, and a variety of team events? Are you interested in working with a coach that has a wide background in a variety of equestrian sports and is actively showing in training at the FEI level in Dressau? Ms. Rollins is compiling a list of interested athletes. Please stop by the art room and add your name to the list ASAP if you are interested in a Phoenix Equestrian Club. There's a meeting in Mrs. Hansen's room on Wednesday, October 1st at 7 p.m. to learn more about the incredible opportunity. Anyone is welcome and there will be snacks provided. Anyone interested in being part of Phoenix High School Robotics Competition Club is free to join every Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch and after school. This club focuses on all aspects of robotics from construction to programming. Even if you have no background, you are welcome to join us in room N206. See Mr. Rhodes for questions. In Thespian News, the cast for a Midsummer Night's Dream is as follows. Bryce Roy, Corina Bryant, Kim Kenny, Jasmine Conchess, Morgan Altman, Chapman Kuykendall, Kylie Burns, Rosa Navarrete, Taylor Roy, Daniel Kelly, Taryn McGuire, Lorenzo Ortiz, Alan Quackenbush, Sof Sof Sophie Stricker, Justice Williams, Willow Taus, Bailey Corey, and Cheyenne Woods. Congrats to all the students, and we look forward to the show. Be sure to check out the school play. La Clinica Services will be operating at our school on Thursdays starting around 8.30 a.m. If you need to see La Clinica for medical, physical, or dental reasons, see Mr. Akil at the attendance office to sign up. Did you know progress reports are being sent home today? Are you happy with your grades? If you need extra help, here's a segment about ASAP. And now, a message from ASAP, the after-school academics program. All right, time to do grades. How is my class looking? Ah, uh, Bailey, A+. Plus. Oh, Kat, A plus again. Jennifer, A plus. Man, I've got some great students. It looks like everybody is in tip top shape. Except Jason. Oh, Jason. Oh. Jason! Jason, how do you have a D minus? Your grades are poopier than my one year old niece's diaper. Because when I can't finish my homework at school, I take it home. And when I take it home, I can't get any help. And when I can't get any help, I have a hard time focusing. When I can't focus, I fall asleep. Really? <laughs> well, Jason, why didn't you just say so? Are you not familiar with our after-school academic program known as ASAP? <laughs> the, the, the what? Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school, you can get additional help on homework and assignments in the library from teachers and staff here at Phoenix High School. 
But I have to take the bus after school. I wouldn't be able to get home. Well, of course you could, silly little Jason. There's a school activity bus that takes students home at 4.30, no matter where you live. Gee whiz, that sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Rhodes. <laughs> of course, Jason. Now get back to work. Sounds like ASAP is the perfect option for me. I said get back to work. The ASAP After School Academics Program is intended for students to work on homework after school. If your grades are suffering or need a quick boost, feel free to come by the library on Tuesdays through Thursdays to work on homework and get help from any teachers after school. The program ends at 425, and an after school activity bus will take you home at the end of the day. Jen Perry from College Dreams is trying to recruit 39th and 10th grade students to participate in a series of science, technology, engineering, and math workshops through RCC. There will be three sessions that the students will attend, and the focuses will be in industrial technologies, healthcare and business, and computer science. This is a great opportunity for any 9th and 10th graders to see a variety of programs and career areas. See the College Corner for more information. Are you interested in being a school board representative for the Phoenix Talent School District? Are you interested in serving in a leadership capacity? If so, please notify Mrs. Hale. Once notified, she will provide you with an application. You can notify her by sending her a personal note and giving it to the front office at PHS. Mrs. Hale has an important announcement for us. Let's check it out. Good morning, Phoenix High School. It's me, Mrs. Hale. I'm here to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you to do one thing, and that is show up every day for the rest of this year. Can you do that? That would be amazing. Let me tell you about the difference between this year and years previous. This year, the mighty state of Oregon, I'm looking up at the state of Oregon right now because the state of Oregon has said, let us know who's not attending and we will look at their driver's license, we will look at any state assistance and we might take that away. So bottom line is, the state of Oregon wants every single student to have attendance that looks like this. You show up for the whole year 90% of the time. If you show up less than that, they consider you having chronic attendance problems. Wow, guess what? I asked Mr. Akil, how many of our students last Friday didn't show up? He looked, he typed it in, he called me up and he said, Janny, we had 101 students miss one or more classes with an unexcused absence. Woo! 101 students missed one or more classes last Friday. Okay, I can't see you, you know that. But advisors count right now the number of students who raised their hand when I asked this question. Students, raise your hand if you have a friend who really has an attendance problem. Okay, how many hands are going up? This is my concern. It's going to be June, you come to me and you're crying and you're saying, Mrs. Hale, I can't believe it, you're not going to let me graduate. I go, yeah, you know what, here's your attendance. And you go, what, I've been to school 12 years, you're not going to let me graduate. You're going to make me go and take the walk of pride with the class behind me? I go, yep, you're going to have to come back for a fifth year. But that's my reality, and that's the reality of a lot of your friends that you might know. Here's the other problem that I see. Students miss a day, they walk in to see their teacher, and they say, hey, I was gone yesterday. Could you take time out of your busy day? Give me all the work that I missed. Oh, by the way, tell me what happened. Oh, yeah, that works for you. What about the teacher? Multiply that times mm, 20 students who missed that day. So we have a little other problem. We owe that teacher more than that. I've got a wonderful program here called Restorative Justice. We're doing just this year. The woman's name is Colleen O'Sullivan. I think you met her on a previous PHTV. We're going to be getting together with advisor reps, we're going to talk to kids who have attendance problems. We're going to be doing some different things. And I'm going to now whisper the evil word, the evil word that no one wants me to say. 
You ready for this? Close campus. <gasps> I said it. Oh my gosh. What if Mrs. Hale changes the schedule next year and closes the campus for two of our classes? Wow. Or looks at attendance, takes the pulse and say, you know what? You, 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 and you can't leave campus because of you got a little problem called self-control, time management. So the future is here right now. The changes with the state government and state policies are here right now. So my final challenge to you again, show up. Not just for school, but for life. Switch your thinking, switch your attitudes. Take care of yourself. When your friends who are already failing want you to skip with them, tell them that you love them and you care for them, but you care for yourself more. You care for yourself more. Take care of yourself. Take my challenge. Accept the challenge and show up. I care for each and every one of you. I can see into the future. It's bright with promise. It's bright with good things if you just show up. This is Mrs. Hale saying, make it a great day, Phoenix High School. If you are interested in becoming involved in peer mediation, there are training in Mr. Cornett's room at lunch. Everyone is welcome to attend. Also, if you like to play chess or risk, or would like to learn how our strategic board games club meets Wednesdays at lunch in Mrs. Barton's room and 412. Also in Ms. Barton's room on Fridays at lunch is the anime club. Be sure to check it out. Do you want to help with this year's yearbook? We aren't able to get into the yearbook class. Don't worry, you are in luck. Every Wednesday on Computer Lab A, room in 203, yearbook meetings will take place for students who are interested in working on the yearbook, but aren't able to take the class. Feel free to come by this Wednesday and see how you can be a part of this year's yearbook. See Mr. Rhodes or Ms. Singleton if you have any questions. There will also be a yearbook art cover contest. The requirements are that students design both a front and back cover that fits within the dimensions of the template. The art can be either digital or hand-drawn. The theme of this year's yearbook is Taking a Shot. This theme encompasses the Hollywood paparazzi concept of stars, spotlights, red carpet, glitz, and glam. The contest will run from today through Friday, October 10th. The winner of the contest will receive a free yearbook. See Mr. Rhodes for the template if you are interested in entering the contest. The Talent Harvest Festival Parade will be taking place at 10 a.m. in the Talent this Saturday, October 4th. Come support the Phoenix Marching Band and Phoenix Town community at the Harvest Festival. On Wednesday, October 15th, Phoenix Talent School District will have an awesome opportunity. The City of Phoenix and T Phoenix High School will celebrate the 2014 homecoming with a parade through the city. City officials have agreed to close down streets and devote an evening to supporting the this occasion. We will begin on Rose Street in Phoenix and end at Phoenix High School prior to the Powder Puff football game. The PHS leadership would like to extend an invitation to all activities throughout the district to participate. Each club or activity would prepare some kind of entry, such as a float, car, or sign with participants walking behind it to take part in the parade. This is not only a great way for our school district to show our community our school spirit, but also a wonderful advertising opportunity as well. I hope you take advantage and join us. See Breezy Chapman if you or your club or sport is interested in taking part. We now have a segment showing where the new detention room is. Let's check it out. All right, so it was roughly 1472 that in which the first evidence of what somebody might call a video movie was discovered. This anyway, as I was saying, now this movie, the evidence of it, was more or less kind of seen as Pumpernickel, feet off the desk. Pumpernickel, off the glasses. All right, Pumpernickel, I'm done. Elkin, now. Fine, but because I want to, not because you tell me to.
detention room? No, this is the old detention room. The new detention room is in Mrs. Carvalho's old room, which is 107A. Okay, deep breaths. Salutation. Remember, if you get detention, go directly to room N107A rather than the old detention room. In sports news, our football team took on Hidden Valley on Friday, pulling out a great team victory, winning by a score of 49-22, to moving their record to four wins and zero losses on the season. They will travel to North Valley on Friday to take on the Knights for their second league game of the season. And in cross-country action this weekend, both our boys and girls squads competed at the Nike Pre-Nationals meet in Portland. The girls team finished 8th out of 22 teams, paced by Danielle Yonser and her 4th place finish out of 95 competitors. The boys team finished 19th, led by Randy Mena, who finished 17th overall. Our boys soccer team took on Klamath Union on Monday, defeating them 3 goals to 2. We lost in penalties on Thursday to Hidden Valley after being tied 1-1. We will play North Valley at home later today, so come support your Pirate soccer team. Our girls soccer team took on KU at home on Monday, unfortunately falling to them 4 goals to 1. They played at home again on Thursday, falling to Hidden Valley 5 to 1. They play again home on, against Mazama on Thursday, so come support your Lady Pirates. Our volleyball team had a successful week last week, defeating Mazama on Tuesday night, three sets to zero, and again defeating North Valley on Thursday night, three sets to one. They play Hidden Valley at home tomorrow. Come out and support the volleyball team. This is the first week of the Healthy High School Challenge. Get a lunch and we can earn points towards winning a cash prize. Help your school earn top prize of $4,000. This week's spe specials are Pirate Bowl on Monday, barbecue chicken burger on Tuesday, tomato soup with California grilled cheese on Wednesday, Thursday corn dogs with tater tots, and Friday spaghetti meat sauce uh, with sa Caesar salad. There will be a meatless sauce for vegetarians. It's that time again, Tanali. Oh yeah, trivia time. Last week we asked, what day is SOU College Vegetation Day? And the winner is... Antonio Camacho in Miss Bowman's room, and he said October 14th. Come collect your prize in Mr. Ro at Mr. Rhodes' room. Our question this week is, when is the homecoming parade? Write your name, advisor, and answer on the piece of paper and turn into the folder of Mr. Rhodes' door. As always, it has been your school, your people, and your, your news. news.